question 24. It is the last question on the paper, so we'd expect it to be a bit more difficult. So it is level five. But with a little bit of clear thinking and writing on top of some of these diagrams, we should be able to figure it out and get the marks. It says, Josh has some tiles. Each tile is 10 centimetres long. So from the start of the tile to the end of the tile is 10 centimetres long. It says two tiles fitted together are 18 centimetres long. Now you would think if one tile was 10 centimetres, two tiles would be 20 centimetres, but it doesn't work like that. And it's because when you put one tile on the end of the other, they overlap. This bit here and this bit here where the two tiles overlap. So what we need to do is we need to have another strategy. So we need to figure out the extra bit once one tile is fit on top of the other. So if from the start of this first tile here to the end of the first tile here, if that is 10 centimetres, but this total distance here is 18 centimetres, where this tile stops to the end of the second tile, that must be a gap of 8 centimetres, because the 10 that we know from this diagram plus the 8 here makes 18. 10 plus 8 makes 18. Now we can use this idea on this diagram because we've now got to calculate the length of five tiles fitted together. So let's try the same strategy. So start from the start of the first tile to the end of the first tile, that's 10 centimetres. Then just like what we've done here, where we said from the end of the first tile to the end of the second tile, that was eight centimetres. That's gonna be from here to here. So that's eight centimetres. Now we can keep doing this all the way along. End of the second tile to the end of the third tile will be eight again. End of the third to the end of the fourth will be eight again. And the end of the fourth to the end of the last tile will be eight centimeters again. So these vertical lines that we're drawing in explain how we've taken the 10 and the eight to work out the total length of the diagram. So all that remains to be done now is add these together. So we've got four lots of eight. So four times eight is 32 centimeters. And then we've got an extra 10. So add on the extra 10. So the total answer is going to be 42 centimetres. It does say show you're working. You may get a mark. So the easiest thing to do there is to say 10 plus 4 times 8 equals 42 centimetres. Sometimes when you've got a big box like this for working, you don't have to write a lot as long as you have done some of your working on the actual diagram. And any examiner would give you all the marks there, even though you've only written one line in your working out box, because you've done the majority of your working on the diagram, and it's very clear on what you've actually done. These vertical lines are split in the shape, and you've shown your working on the picture. So your final answer, 42 centimetres.